everybody has grocery bags. Everyone has a pair of scissors. That's all you need and a Sharpie. I have this fancy cutter. Not everyone has that. But if you do, it'll make it easier. So I'm gonna show you with my fancy cutter first. Grocery bags have that weird flat bottom. Hold it down. You can even do this with scissors. I'll show you. Now I'm going to scissors. Scissors are annoying. Okay, then you're actually gonna have like a closed loop. Now you're gonna have to cut it. And you have a long strip. I like cutting this with my cutter, but you can you can see that you can still do this with scissors. The point is for this particular project is to get a good piece of brown paper. I don't like the folds. If you don't mind having that fold there, then you leave it if you want a bigger piece. But I like to trim off the folded parts. Is this making sense so far? Crickets in the peanut gallery. All right, now I'm going to take this piece of paper, this now lovely piece of brown paper on my Sharpie, and I'm going to grab my sign here. The only reason I'm using this is for like a hard surface. Because if I do this on the concrete, it's going to get that kind of ridgy, weird texture, which, you know what? You might like it. You might like it. So now I'm going to go somewhere where the branches are a little bit smaller. Let's, sometimes it takes some time to find the, find the perfect shadow. Oh, here we go. This is a good one. Okay. Go. Oh, you know what? Now I gotta hold it there. I don't have to do this fast either because even though the shadow is going to move with the movement of the sun, it won't move that fast. Fast enough though. Maybe I want to add some more. So maybe I go and I find another detail. And let's see, maybe I want to go like that. Okay. Now, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to I'm going to color all that in black or maybe something else. I don't know. Let's see later. Okay, now you can see that I chose to do some some kind of dimensional um, pressure sensitive um, line work in addition to uh, just the outline of the shapes. Um, you do not have to do that. All you need to do is thicken up your line and just commit to the lines that you make. Um, and, and then you can choose to add whatever detail you want, but keep it with the black Sharpie because that's what makes it interesting. I'm gonna come in here with just some white oil pastel, but guess what? If you have white chalk, even if it's sidewalk chalk, that'll work too. You just have to remember not to smudge, smudge, smudge. When I am using chalk, I tap or I blow. All I'm gonna do right now is, and you can see that there was some blue on that, that's okay. I'm going to have to go back over some of those lines in there. I'm just going to add a little bit of white to this open area. Just like that.
I like to use at least three colors when I'm using um, oil pastels. So I think I might bring in slightly darker. If I can find a darker, even, even black would be cool. Mrs. T is using my giant bag of random chalk and oil pastels.